Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Altona by FaZe. So this is the original track. And this is the lead that we're gonna be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but if you stay till the end, you're gonna figure out something very, very interesting about reverb and how it plays a role into making sounds like this interesting. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you wanna support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so these are notes that we're gonna be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. Okay, cool. So here I have an initialized patch. And the first thing we're gonna do is to make a very basic setup by using only analog wavetables. In this case, we're gonna be using the basic shapes and JNO, which I'm pretty sure that it stands for Juno, the synthesizer. And we're gonna be using this second waveform and a saw wave. We're gonna bring both of them at one octave down. So you should be getting that saw wave. We're gonna add a little bit of attack. And now we're gonna go into the effects tab and we're gonna add some tooth distortion. We're gonna add hyper, very slightly. And then we're gonna add a multiband compressor. And now to add more attack, we're gonna add a filter here. Hold shift and alt, click it, so the modulation is unipolar, and then we're gonna create the attack. And now we're gonna add an EQ, we're gonna boost the mids here. We're gonna find a resonance spot and we'll uh, check again later to see exactly where do we want to uh, boost. So for now, let's just EQ here in the mids. Cool, and now, the interesting part. And so here is the reason why I think it doesn't sound exactly the same. So I'm pretty sure that the first time that you hear this sound, you're like, yeah, that's a saw wave. That's obviously a saw wave. And that, those were my thoughts. I was like, yeah, that, that's of course just gonna be a saw wave uh, with a little bit of attack and then and then reverb, right? But the thing is that if we put the reverb, it doesn't give us this, the exact sound. And so, Here's an interesting thing. I believe that the key behind uh, this sound, one thing is I'm just gonna bring this main saw wave a little bit lower. The key thing, check this out, is this reverb and how it plays a role into the resonances of the sound. So check what happens if we bring the decay down and we play with the size. So pay attention to the resonances. So there's really, really cool tails. And it almost sounds like the rear filter <laughs> from Serum. And so here's the interesting part. I think that the reverb that is in this lead I'm I'm not sure it could be, I could be wrong of course but I think that the reverb that it's used in that saw wave it's a reverb that it's of course outside of Serum possibly outside Ableton maybe I don't know um but it's a cool reverb or if it's one of these reverbs it is set in a way um that is very very unique uh, of course it it might have some analog qualities such as like having the right uh, oscillators, but at their reverb. It has to have a very nice tail. Now check what happens if we play with the spin depth and the spin. So I'm gonna bring the size up. So we bring the spin and the spin depth up. 
those resonances or those tails, they start getting too messy, like almost like detuned. Right? So you can hear very, very metallic resonances. And I think that's the unique part. And that's why I think like for the people that stayed here in this video, it's what's interesting. So if you pay attention, there's like a very metallic resonance and the high end, like very, very metallic resonances here, like around there. Like there. Um, and so if we change the size, That's what makes the sound unique. So I think it's a matter of playing with this reverb. Of course, uh, you gotta fine tune it however you, you want uh, it to fit in your mix. And then after that, the only thing I did was just adding one more reverb. So I'm gonna go here, add a reverb. But as you can see, the, even Ableton's reverb takes uh, away from the sound. So I added another uh, plate reverb from Serum. But again, it's a matter of playing with these reverbs, as you can see, because all these cool resonances, they, they come from, from the reverb. So it's such a such an interesting um, thing that I encountered when I was trying to remake this lead, and I hope that you are uh, a little bit puzzled by it too. Uh, you that chose to stay in the video and didn't just say, "Yeah, it's a solo, bro." Haha. <laughs> but yeah, reverbs and resonances causing ca caused from those reverbs are very very interesting. So this is as close as I can get you to that sound. This is the eighty percent that I can push you there. And I also want to add that reverb uh, thing. So yeah, this is how you make sounds like the ones in the track Altona by Face. I hope that this thing about the reverb, I hope that realizing the spin, the spin depth, the size and how it plays a role in, in just adding resonances into very uh, harmonic sounds such as a saw wave makes you a little bit more aware of what the reverb is doing to your sound and how you can take advantage of that. So yeah. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching. If it was, please uh, let me know in a comment, leave a like, get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.